Hi everyone, hope you're all tickety boo. Today, I'm gonna to answer a question that a lot of you have been asking, which is, does the Canon EOS R with the kit lens 24 to 105 fit on the Weeble S and actually balance and miss that little eyepiece? Right, so in a sec, we're gonna get it up on the bench and we're gonna see whether or not it balances. And if it does and it misses the eyepiece, what I'll do is I'll give you the measurements so that you don't have to fiddle around with that yourself. Like I've always said though, make a note of them, put them into your book and then you will have them forever. And it'll save you all that hassle of having to rebalance it. Um, I have done it with the Monfrotto quick release plate on there as well. So of course, if you've got one of those, make sure you put that on. Before I do though, do you know that in France, <laughs> If you stand in dog poo with your left foot, it's classed as good luck. But if you stand it with your right foot, it's actually classed as bad luck. So the first thing I want to bring to your attention is the fact that I've put one of the Monfrotto um, quick release plates on here. I'll do this with all my um, gimbals, so these measurements will only work if you do that. I believe the weight of this is the same as the um, one that comes with the Weeble S, yeah, the riser plate, you'll have to put that on anyway because of the size of the lens. So if you haven't got one of these, you'll probably find the measurements will be there or thereabouts, all right? Um, so yeah, that's attached. And the place you do it is by having it here at the rear, so that the nut's at the back there, okay? And it's actually there and it's on 6.5, yeah? I don't know if you can see that there. I'll put it up on the uh, screen as well, about 6.5, okay? Let's get it on the camera then. Nearly forgot, this arrived in the post, yeah, the switch pod. Back that as a Kickstarter, and if you're interested in it, there's a link down below, but I will be doing a little bit of a review on this and showing you how you can use it. But we'll get out in the field to do that, not just sit here in the studio. Right, so the measurements on the base plate here, okay, and I always set this up before I put the camera on, and like I said to you all before in previous videos, make sure you put it down in a notebook. All right, so this one is set at 1.15 there and 5.05 at the rear. Okay, so that's 1.15 there and 5.55 there at the rear, okay? So the next measurement down here, that's at 1.5. Okay, so that's set at 1.5. And the final measurement to show you is this one here on the side arm. That's actually set right down to the bottom, okay? So on here, yeah, you will see that it's set to 2.9. That's 2.9, okay? Okay, so when you're putting this lens, a 24 to 105 on there, what you need to do is set that to around about 70. That way you're gonna get a nice even balance across the whole range of the um, zoom lens. Connect them in, nice and easy, straight into there, release this one off and Hopefully, we shall see that it is nicely balanced, as you can see that way and that way. All right, the big test for you all is will the IP Smith? And yes, it does. So I'm glad to say that the 24 to 105 will work on there. Let's put the wibbly wobbly thing on, the old auto tune, and we'll see it in action. Let's start them up then. That's just the desk wobbling, okay? It's nice and smooth on there. And as I said, whenever you do this, I would always go in and do the old auto tune, get the wibbly wobbly thing going, let that do its stuff. And whilst that's happening, let's connect up to the app. And it all looks like it's hunky dory to me. Yep, check okay, it says on there. I don't know if you can read that or not. But hang on for one sec and I'll show you it missing the eyepiece and everything else working. We just do it by the joystick, we won't bother with the app today. There we go, check OK. Turn him around. Do it into PV mode. Right, so let's see if I can do this back to front. Oh, look at that. And it's missed. And it's gone the other way. Now, the big test is will it go into the old vertigo mode? So, we'll pop it around here once and we go one, two, there you go. And you can see that one's spinning around as well. So, for everybody who wanted to know whether this will work or not, there's your answer. It does with the Canon EOS R and the kit lens, the 24 to 105. See you in a sec. 
There you go everyone, the 24 to 105 kit lens that comes with the Canon EOS R actually does work on the Weeble S and it does miss that eyepiece so I think they've got a thumbs up for that one. Um, I haven't had a chance to give it a proper going over and a proper test yet so when I do if you hit that subscribe button you'll be able to find out a bit more about it and I'll also be testing some more lenses on it both for the Canon EOS R and the Canon EOS RP. Um, if anybody's got any questions on that then please leave them down below in the comments. Give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this if it's helped you at all and also don't forget to hit the subscribe because we'll be out going out in the field and give it some real life tests a bit later on when the weather gets a bit better in the UK. Anyway, that's it for today. Cheers and gone.